Hey everybody, so I have talked about bullying a lot on this channel. Um, there's a 10 year old, a 10 year old out of, that attended Greenfield Intermediate School, fourth grade. And a week ago, decided that he had to take his own life because of relentless bullying that he had been receiving at school and on the school bus. The school knew about this. The parents notified the school. Of course, the kid, the school said, oh, we have no record of any of that. Right because we know how schools protect the bullies and don't do anything to help the children who are bullied. These other kids that were torturing Sammy every day, have blood on their hands and so don't their parents because hate is learned behavior. And at such a young age, these parents did not teach their children how to treat other human beings. These parents didn't teach their children that you treat other people with decency and respect, <clears throat> that you don't pick on other people or bully somebody because they wear glasses. Or you don't bully somebody because you don't like the clothes that they wear. Society is in a place today where bullying, I mean, it just happens so often. And nobody seems to want to do a thing about it. The schools don't do anything to help these kids. They're, I mean, what are, the, what are their parents supposed to do, you know? The parents reach out to the school board. School board comes back and does absolutely nothing. There's no, there's nothing put in place to help these kids. It's always, well, if you, you know, if it's really that bad, then keep your son home or switch schools. Meanwhile, the kids who bullied Sammy just got to stay stay in class and stay in the same school with all their friends and nothing happened to them. It's, it's just crazy to me that you had, this kid was 10 years old and these other children who were constantly bo like bothering him and being mean to him. <clears throat> I mean, we're talking about physical, he would get beaten up. His glasses would get broken. Like, all of these things would happen. And there was an incident a week before this happened, this tragedy happened. There was an incident in the bathroom that took place at school. His parents, Sammy's parents believe that he was so afraid to go back to school that that's why he at 10 years old, decided that this, that his only option was to just end it all. Which is probably the saddest thing. You, you know, I mean, how, how crazy sad is that? And, and his parents, you know, lost their youngest child because of bullying. Because parents don't teach their kids morals. And values and respect. Hate is learned behavior. And at 10 years old, these kids already have no respect for other human beings. Already have no, nothing was put into them about how you're supposed to treat other people. And that's on those parents. These kinds of things should never happen. This kind of story should never happen. But we see it all the time. 
society has to change. People have to change. Parents have to start teaching their kids about human decency and respect for other people. It's, it's just, in my, there's no excuse in my opinion. The kids who bullied him every day, this is on them. And it's on their parents as well. The, just the bullying has to stop. The, the, the constant harassment of other people has to stop. Let me hear what you guys think down in the comment section below. I love you guys. Stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions. Keep spreading that light. And I will see you next time.